What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Today I got a uh, video response for Rick um, over at Vintage Oddball Cards. Uh, it's me and my dad over here working today. And uh, Rick's got a contest going on right now. Um, he basically just wants to know what would drive you to buy a miscut um, or a uh, or a hand cut card. So for me, um, I don't own too much vintage. Um, that's where I would probably only buy a, a miscut card. Um, so I got one here, um, Charlie Neal. This is his second year card. Uh, I bought this because uh, it's a Brooklyn Dodger card, and um, it's old. Uh, this is a 57, so there's not, not many of, uh, of these around. Um, it's in pretty good shape, but it's a little um, off-cut from, uh, or off-centered from top to bottom. And I don't know if you can see the top of it right here. Um, pretty badly cut right there. There's a, there's a little ripple in there. Um, so this is my Charlie Neal card. Um, and yeah, I would only buy these cards for player, um, age, and, um, and I guess just the picture too. I mean, that, that's a pretty bitchy looking picture right there if you ask me pretty classic right there um, so my second card is a um, a 1963 uh, JMC this is Yoshio Yoshida uh, it's a Japanese player it was hand cut um, it's pretty well centered um, but it is hand cut so that knocks a lot of the PSA out of it and I can care less about the PSA 2 right here but it's just a sick looking card it's Japanese, it's vintage, it's 1963. Um, a lot of people will probably take them out of the slabs, but I kind of like the slab because it just gives it like a little bit extra more protection. So those are my two <coughs> cards that I have. Like I said, I don't got a whole lot of vintage. Um, but yeah, those are my two cards. Um, so thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon.